So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them. And they lived and stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. Boom! Loud as a trumpet trying to reach the people. Scopus, naysayers, you hypocrites. And keeping one damn law, your honor with your lips. Blind guys leading the blind into a pit. You two fold the child of hell, then your pastor is. Once a people with no mercy, we will pass the kids. All praises to the Father, we've been reconciled. We birth, resurrected, and regenerated. Sin using flesh, cover bones that were naked. This holy Bible is the antidote to heal the people. But we still some stiff neck and rebellious children. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So now we understand why his eyes was a flame of fire. He drunk wine, read on. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine brass. What does brass look like? Give me that picture over there. The color of brass. Okay. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you take brass, what color is brass? It's brown. But if you take that brass and burn it in the fire, what color would that brass be then? Even blacker, even darker. Just right. See, they didn't want you to know that when you came over here in Slation. Were you able to read and write when our ancestors when our ancestors came over here in Slation? Were they able to read or write? Exactly. They'd be put to death or put in front of the whole congregation of the people and made an example out of. Am I right? Yeah. This is the woolly hair we're talking about. That's wool. All right? We weren't talking about no sheep. We're talking about the hair on Christ's head. The same type of texture hair we have on our own head. Yeah. You can take our hair and make a, a coat out of it. And be burning up hot. Because it will keep you warm. Am I right? Okay. But there again, we prove you to the Bible that that image right there that they have given us is a false image. And it means a lot. If it didn't matter, why would they take that image away from us? Bring it up. Because they didn't want you to know who you are and who you come from. Christ himself is the king of all kings. He's the king of the Israelites. He's the king of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Okay, He's king over all, but he's our king. You see what I'm saying? All right. All right. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Bring it up. Give me verse 68. We're going we're gonna to go back. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now the children of Israel, y'all remember the story, Moses brought them out of Egypt, right? But right here, it says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Did the children of Israel go into Egypt again? Have you seen a movie that they went back into Egypt again? We have not seen that. But what is the Bible saying? What does Egypt mean? When you think about Egypt, what do you think about? As a slave people, what do you think about? Huh? No, it's not the promised land. To me, Egypt was bondage, slavery. But let's hear what the Bible says. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Brought you out of the land of what? Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of slavery, out of bondage. Okay? But read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God is saying to the children of Israel, I'm going to bring you to slavery or bondage again. But read on. With ships. With, with what? With ships. Did y'all just hear what he said? He said, with what? Ships. Right. What ships were those? Slave ships. That's right. Do you not see that right here on this picture? Did that not happen to us? Did that happen to all the other nations? Are you sure? Did that happen to all the other nations? Only the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. It only happened to us. There again, we prove it to you. There's no people that have a history of our people. That's written in this Bible. It just told you right there. that you're going to go into Egypt, meaning bondage or slavery again, how was that? With ships. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? 
In other words, Paul said, the way I'm telling you this is going to happen is exactly how it's going to happen the way I'm telling you. I'm prophesying to you that this is what's going to happen to you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland no more again. Where's the land of black at? Where's the land of Negro? Where's the land of African American? Where's the land of color? You see what I'm saying? It's just, it's, we're not speaking that hard. We ain't sitting up here trying to flip, you know, be flamboyant and, and, and impress you. We're reading straight out the Bible. It's been there all alone. Sitting on Grandma's coffee table. But we never read it. Nobody never taught us and showed us the true history of our Bible. Right. This is our Bible. It don't belong to everybody. Right. I promise you that. Let's read on. That shall sin no more again. And there, and there, wherever those slave ships, you see here? The transatlantic slave trade, wherever those slave ships, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. You're going to be sold unto your best friend. Your enemy. You was going to be sold unto your enemies. That's right. So wherever you were scattered to, wherever you, that slave ship took you to, you were scattered to your enemies. Okay? Your enemies are all the other nations. Okay? It's not just the so-called white man. The Chinese man, the Arab man, the African man. See, we walk around here thinking we're Africans. We're not Africans. Okay? Africa is just the name of a landmass or a continent. It's named after an, a, 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 an Italian general, a Roman general. You see what I'm saying? Did they teach us that in school? No, that's what we're teaching you. All right? But what got us in this situation that these people was treated, these people right here were treated so bad that they had to go and bond us in slavery again? Let's go. Let's find out. Let's go back a little bit. See, Prep No Dollar T.D. Jakes ain't teaching this, is it? You won't hear this on your TV tomorrow morning. All right? But they're living good. They're living off of you. You see what I'm saying? They pimping you. And we're still a destroyed people. We need to understand what we got to do. How we got into this situation and what we must do to get out of this situation. The same thing that got us in this situation is going to take the same thing to get us out of this situation. What got us in that situation? You asking me? Not keeping the law of statute commandments that God gave us. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. I mean, it's going to happen. It shall come to pass. We don't. If that would not hurt unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't hear. The voice of the Lord your God, you know, to observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, he pay close attention to all his commandments, you know, and his statutes, which he commanded us this day. So his statute that he commanded us this day, you know, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall overcome thee and, over and overtake thee. Curses are what? Good things or bad things? They're bad things. But well, let's read some of these curses to prove who these curses belong to, okay? Read. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did you hear what I just said? It said your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people. What people were they given to? Bring it to up. our enemies. Was it given to our best friends? Now, what are we reading this out of? This is out of the Bible. We've never been taught this. You see what I'm saying? We're not sitting here bull. As a matter of fact, have I asked you for any money? Have I asked you to join any organization? That's not what it's about. It's about us all repenting as a people. But we came over here in the slave ship together. We got to get out of here together. What we'll call our enemies? No, we'll, we'll, we'll go to that. We'll let you know the main top enemy, the, the main one, the, the head honcho of all our enemies. But there were many enemies. Okay? Let's put it. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So he said you're going to serve your enemies, right? That the Lord shall send against thee. How's that? In hunger. In hunger. Do we own these stores? Do we own these businesses around here? Do we own the Walmart? Do we own the McDonald's? No. So you're going to serve your enemies in hunger? And in thirst? If you don't pay your water bill, can you go back and cut your water on? No. In, in hunger and in thirst? And in nakedness, in the very clothes you have on your back. Our people pick the cotton, but do we own the cotton? Right. And, 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 and want of all things. And want of all things. You want a driver license? You want an education? You want religion? You want toilet paper just to wipe your nose or wipe your behind? And want of all things. Everything that you want. A business license? 
a death certificate, a birth certificate, Bring it up. every day a, a social security number, everything you was going to have to go to them and want of all things. Hey. And what? And he. And he, talking about your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who do you see as a people that had yokes of iron upon their neck? Bring it up. Who had yokes of iron upon their neck? It's biblical. It's biblically history. Am I right? We do know that in the school system. They do let us know that in the school system. But we have a history before that. You see what I'm saying? And that's what's most important that you need to know. And you are a great people, but you are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are the 12 tribes. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And we can prove it right out the Bible. It's been there all along. All right? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon their neck until he have destroyed thee. Why we don't have yokes of neck, irons on, on our neck now? You know why? Because he have destroyed us. We, our enemies have destroyed us. We no longer know who we are. We think we African Americans. We think we blacks, colors. We've been given all these bywords and proverbs calling us outside who we really are. Instead of calling you a, a daughter of Sarah from the tribe of Judah. Instead of calling you an Israelite. What tribe are you from, sir? From the tribe of Judah. You're Israelite. Sir, do you know what tribe you're from? Are you... Have anything to, are you, can you relate to the slave trade? Huh? Okay, I'll pray. So look on this side here, and you'll find out who you are according to what God calls you. Right. Not the names or bywords or proverbs that the names that your oppressor put upon you. I got a question. I got a question. Yes, sir. Our old history was used against us. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly right. There again, you can't trust this book, but this book is telling you about our history. It tell it just told you that we was gonna go into ships. We just brought out key verse. There again, have you read that? Do you know about Deuteronomy 28? Um, can I can I share it with you? Give me just a second. I want to share it with you. Because yes. we are in the last days. That's and right. this country that we're in is getting ready to go down. That's uh, right. Uh, Revelation 18 and 4. This country is getting ready to go down. Okay? And they ain't going to let you know that. They're not going to put that on television and show you that. That's They're right. going to run into their bunkers and then up into their mountains and high places and low places. And, it's, and try to escape this terror, but they ain't going to be able to get away from it. Yeah. Revelation chapter 18 verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sins. That you don't be partakers of her sins. Talking about great Babylon that you're living in today, which is known as America. And that you receive not of her plagues. That you won't receive of her plagues, okay? So come out of her philosophies, her theologies, her false holidays, okay? Come into the truth that God ordained for you to know and for you to grow and to come into the kingdom, okay? All right, sis. Appreciate you, all right? You pull that ball for her. She ain't doing great. Mark 4, verse 15. And these are they, they by the wayside, where the word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan come immediately and take it away the word that was sown in their hearts. Okay. Sis, we appreciate uh, you can set up your camp right over there if you want to. Sir, not to be rude. But I want to deal with you, if, if that's what you're here for, right? All right. Uh, you can talk to him when we get done. He asks a question. I want to deal with him. I'll praise him. All right. First of all, let me ask you, how many gays is it to the kingdom of heaven? Because I'm a woman or because I'm a woman? That's nothing to do with you, woman. You're, are you an Israelite woman? No, I'm not. Okay. Then this has nothing to do with you. Oh, wow. Okay. This so has nothing to do with you. Not, how, how many gays are to the... Hold on. And I look like you. It, it had nothing to do with look. Everybody can look like somebody. But you were just talking about how our Jesus looked like us. I look like you. So if we're not the same. But well, first of all, you it's, you out of order already, sis. I'm out of order. Right, because you just said you 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 out of order. Let me speak to him. Let me speak to him, and then I get with you, because I got to deal with him. Is he an Israelite? He said he was an Israelite. I asked him that. He said he was one of the twelve of the twelve tribes. Can you Where we at? Actually, can you read me the menu? First Timothy, 2 verse 11. Let the woman 
Learn in silence. Okay, do you believe in this Bible? No, it's not. Okay, then we're done. Then we're done. Okay? Then we're done. If you don't believe in this Bible, if you can't hear what we what we bring forth out of the Bible, then you're done. You're against God. You're against God. You're not against us. All right? But then listen. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn in silence. The manufacturer of the First Timothy 2 verse 11. Bring Let up. the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But the Bible tells us I suffer not a woman to teach. Nor to assert authority over the man. So she comes up here and assert her authority over the man. That's out of order according to the Bible. Okay? You men... You don't let no woman assert authority over y'all in y'all nation, now do you? The brother shook his head, he knows that. So why we allow our women to come and assert authority over us? That's why we are messed up as a people. But to be in silence. For Adam was the first form, then Eve. And for Adam was first form, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. So it wasn't Adam that was deceived from the very beginning, it was Eve. Therefore, that was brought on the transgression, all right? So now, coming back to deal with the brother, all right? But I want to share with you Deuteronomy 28, okay? To prove to you that when we came over here in slavery, we, we do understand, we do understand that we came over here in slavery. Do you agree? Do, did that happen to your people? Did your people come over here in slavery? Okay, that doesn't relate to you, okay? So, you do agree to that. We do have a history before we came over here in slavery. That's what we out here proving, okay? All right? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. We're going to line the history up with the people. That's how we know that this Bible is our history book, okay? Because during the time when we came over here, were we able to read or write? Right. When we came over here, were we allowed to read or write? No, it was not in English. Our, our language was original Hebrew, right. right? All right. But when we came over here, all right, we just like we go anywhere, we don't speak speak well the language in, in the other lands. Am I right? When we was took it into slavery, we were scattered all over the place. Do you agree to that? Okay. So wherever we landed, at, there was other languages of, of the of the other lands that we was taken to. Likewise. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Just like. Even the so-called Is Issachar, the so-called Mexicans here, okay? All right? He's from the tribe of Issachar. Also, same thing happened to his people. He is also one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, okay? So to get back to my point, that where we was taking that, we learned the language. We learned also their religions, okay? We're not speaking about religion. We're talking about true history. We're learning our nationality, who we really are. There's 18 nations in the Bible here. So one of the nations that... We are, we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Our heritage, everything about us was stripped from us as a people. Okay? But that's what I want to prove to you. Do you, do, do you know who King James is? Yes. Okay, King James was, 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 is it the King James that you've been told that was the homosexual, or the, the, the Caucasian man? Yes. <laughs> That's what we're talking about, bro. That's wrong. King James was a black man. That's right. That's the thing. That's why we've been distorted with our own history. We've been lied to for so long. Just like they told us Christ was a Caucasian man. We've been lied to. That all that stuff. But they killed off. Understand, they killed off our elders. We came over here in slavery. They killed off our best elders, the ones that taught us and continue to pass our, our heritage down to us. They killed them off. That way they can take our own history and use it against us. Right. Like one of the scriptures, obey your master. You know about that, right? They use that to brainwash our people. Right. But if you give me a moment, you have that fly, you can do more research, but give me a moment to show you through the scriptures how this is our history book and how it was used against us. Okay, all praise, all praise. Do the wrong, give me, uh, that's not who we talk to first. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These be the words that Moses spoke to all Israel. The 12 tribes, okay? Go to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Meaning it's going to happen, okay? If thou wilt not hearken 
unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he's talking to the children of Israel. They don't hearken and, and listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandments. To observe to do all the commandments that he gave the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. You are familiar with that, right? Okay, read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So these curses, are they good things or are they bad things? Bad things, exactly. So let's, 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 let's deal with some of the curses so we can relate to who these people are. Read on. 37 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read on. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no fight in thy hand. Have you watched any of those slave movies where the kids was taken away from us and what nothing we can do to take them back? No, we didn't have no financial might. We didn't have no military might. We couldn't fight our own. Master, you told us that you weren't going to sell our babies. Right. You said you was going to keep them here with us. Okay, but thy son and thy daughter shall be given to another people. Let's move on to something else. Let's continue to build on what we what we started at, okay? Read on. Verse 6. And they shall be upon thee for a son and for a wonder. They shall be upon thee for a sign. Talking about these curses. What's going to be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So when you're looking for, uh, for instance, Moses, what are you looking for? If you're looking for Walmart, what are you looking for? There are certain signs that's going to show you who these people are, okay? So if this book was written by another people, wouldn't they remove these things so you would never comprehend or understand these things? But let's read on. And upon thy seed forever. It was going to be upon that seed forever. Because you can say, well, there's other people truly have been taken away from them. But a people that this has continually happened to is going to be upon them forever. Forever means ongoing. Read on. 48, verse 7. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness, and with gladness of heart, but the abundance of all things. Okay, watch this, brother. I'm going to go to verse 48. Now here we can get into some meat of some things that we can't deny. Read on. 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy. He said you was going to serve your enemies. With the Lord shall sin against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. Talking about your enemies, he's going to put a yoke of iron upon their neck until he has destroyed thee. We know when we go back into the library and you look, there's no other people that had yokes of iron upon their neck or that had suffering, hunger, and thirst, and nakedness, and in want of all things had to go to this particular people. In want of all things, even food, clothing, even today, in want of all things. And it said, He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until what? Until he had destroyed thee. That's what they done to us when they brought us over here in slavery. Right. The Emancipation Proclamation, once they destroyed us, there's no more yokes of iron on their neck. Why? Because we already in their head. We already erased, erased their history. Right. We already erased everything about them. They conform or be assimilated into our system. Right. Right. They're going to be Americans now. Matter of fact, let's call them Negroes. No, let's change that. Let's call them Blacks. You know what? Let's change it again. Let's call them African Americans. Right. We don't even come from Africa. We ran into Africa for our lives. And we were captured by the Africans and the Arabs and sold it to the Greeks. Did you know that was written in there? It's written in there. Can I can I read that for you? Honestly, I gotta go. But okay. See this planet, man. Well, listen. Can I can I give you the one last one, and I'm gonna let you go. Twenty-eight sixty-eight. The book of De uh, Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. We came out of Egypt, but he said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Meaning, I'm going to bring you into slavery again. If you don't hearken and keep these laws that you commandment. This was being prophesied to us thousands of years ago. Read on. <laughs> no, they ain't the original people. Right. Right, they are exactly invaders. Right. They stole somebody else's history. You see what I'm saying? The Watusi and Zulu, those are the real Egyptians. They stood high. They were tall in statue. Those were the real Egyptians, okay? The Egyptians were destroyed when God destroyed them when he brought us out of the land. You see what I'm saying? But let me finish this, and I know you got to go. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Meaning slavery again. How? With ships. With what? With ships. Is that the Atlantic, the, the cruise ships? Carnival? Royal Caribbean? No. The only place you'll find where people were brought in slip in ships, slave ships, was right here, brought in bondage, the Atlanta yeah, slave trade. Right, right. That's what we're speaking yeah. of right here. That's how we know this is our history book. Right. We've been taught wrong, bro. I advise you, when you get a chance, man, go on that website. We keep the Sabbath day, right. all right? In slavery, they made us work on the Sabbath day. 
and they made us worship on Sunday. That's why we still stuck in that rut today. Going in these churches being lied to. These preachers ain't doing nothing but teaching prosperity. We hear about truth. We're in the last days. God is sending his prophets out here in the world to wake his people up. All right? What's your name, bro? Malik, what tribe are you from, Malik? You from the tribe of Judah? All yeah. oh, praise. So that's pertaining to your your father. You do know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all oh, praise, brother. Okay, all oh, praise. So it's by the seed of your father. All oh, praise, it, brother. Listen, as people learn our hit our history, our true history, repent, because there's some things that you need to know so we can get out of this situation that we're in. Yes. You gotta grow your beard. You don't have to wear a dick like mine, but as a man, that's manly, that's called manly dick. My job. Okay, I understand. I got you. I, I know a guy, he's with us. He actually had to do the same thing. But there's so many other laws that we have broken, and we don't know we these, these we don't know we these people, so we continue to do these things. We are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who Christ came and died for. Right. The lost sheep. Okay, I appreciate you, bro. All right, man. Take care, bro. All right. So there again, we're true, we're teaching true Bible history. These people never taught us our true history. Right. Neither will they teach us our history. That's, right. That's why we are here. Where's the pastors at out here now? Right. Why aren't they out here in the edges of the highway? Right. No, they rather sit back in their Armani suits. You see what I'm saying? They rather they rather sit around, draw around in, in their Rolls Royces. They rather take the money from from the people, and our people still suffering and scuffering. But we are here, the children of Israel, to bring out the word of God as it is written. Not our interpretation. We're not putting you a sermon together. We're not trying to shout you or dance you. We're not trying to get you emotional and then tell you pass the couple lecture plate around. It's time to it's high time to wake up out of this sleep. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.